Hey, how's it going everyone? Just back again with another lesson. Uh, this came up in a hangout with End Times teacher earlier and I thought that it's incredible, you know, and I think that it's very, very relevant to the times that we live in now. And so I thought I would do a lesson on it. It's second Maccabee seven, okay? And for numerology people, this is not in these positions randomly, okay? Two seven is 14. This chapter will only make sense to God's elect, okay? To the rest of the world, it would be like absurd, you know, to um, even read something like this and that kind of thing. But for us, it's common sense, okay? And it's an incredible account of, um, you know, faithfulness, you know, of God's elect. So um, Second Maccabees 7, it happened also that seven brothers and their mother were arrested and were being compelled by the king under torture with whips and thongs to partake of unlawful swine's flesh, okay? So these are Israelites, okay? And then they're, that's against the law, okay? One of them, acting as their spokesman, said, What do you intend to ask and learn from us? For, for we are ready to die rather than transgress the laws of our ancestors. Okay? So, I want people to understand, this is again in 7.2. This is in 14. So, this is a group that, these are the Israelites. Okay? So, like, the people that you see on YouTube and all these people reading the Bible, even if they claim that they're Israelites, they're just actors. Okay? Because this is the way the Israelites are. Okay? Like, I'll read this again. What do you intend to ask and learn of us for we are ready to die rather than transgress the laws of our fathers? Okay? And so they understand that, uh, you know, honoring the law, okay, is life, okay? Because Christ comes, you know, at, to honor the law fully, you know, because he's the fulfillment of the law, okay? And then they understand just from a, a deeper level that a group that is not honoring the law, then you're going to have death, okay? Just know that. That's what the Bible teaches everywhere. So there, this is the logic, the logos of the law, okay? You, you, you have to follow it. You should want to follow it because then you're going to have death, okay? And so, you know, if, they, if they're not allowed to honor the law here, then they're going to get death by not honoring the law because that's what, the, you know, happens when you don't do that. And so they're like, well, I'd rather honor the law by dying, okay? You know, if, if this is the only option to eat swine's flesh or to die, okay? Because they're like, well, I'm gonna, it's going to be death anyway if I don't honor the law. So this is the logic, you know, of real Israelites, not these actors on YouTube and, and stuff. So just know that these are the stubborn people that are, their spirit is there in their body. And then it's back here on this earth right now. And then we're going to read this here as well. So these are the people that dictate the end times. Okay. So people come by here and think, oh, you're just whining and all that kind of stuff. Like, why are you so on edge? If I had more integrity, if I had this kind of integrity, when somebody told me to put this mask on, knowing that this narrative is fraudulent, I would have been like, no, I'd rather starve. Okay, that's these people. Okay, so that's why I consistently will need to remind myself that it's, there's a very good chance I'm not in this group. Okay, because look at this kind of integrity. So if I had more integrity, I wouldn't even have played along with that and be like, nope. Okay, I don't care where people ask me to do that. I'm not going to do it. And even if I have to starve. Okay, and then not just that in the corporate world, even prior to this whole narrative, if somebody asked me to lie or say, you know, something false or whatever, I'd be like, no, I'm not doing it. Okay, I'd rather lose my job and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so that's God's people. Just know that. And they're on this earth right now, at least 144,000 men. And so they're like it says here, for we are ready to die rather than transgress the laws of our ancestors. Okay, verse three, the king fell into a rage and gave orders to have pans and cauldrons heated. Okay, and so in the last days, this king is Christ, you know, and he's heating up the whole earth, but it's going to be judgment for the, the evil people who are going against the law. So in the last days, this is going to get flipped, okay? These were heated immediately, and he commanded that the tongue of their spokesman be cut out and that they scalp him and cut out of his hands and feet while they while the rest of the brothers and mothers looked on, okay? And so this earth is antichrist, okay? The people that come by here and say this earth is in hell, it's not that bad and all that, they don't read the Bible. Look at the leadership then. Do you think that these leaders, these leaders are gone now? They're going to do the same thing in the last days, okay? So if you don't believe that this earth is hell, buckle up, okay? We, we're going to laugh when these things happen to you, you idiots. Um, scalp him and cut off his hands and feet while the rest of the brothers and the mother looked on, okay? When he was utterly helpless, the king ordered them to take him to the fire, still breathing, and to fry him in a pan, okay? The smoke from the pan spread wildly, oh, sorry, widely, but the brothers and their mother encouraged one another to die nobly, saying... The Lord God is watching over us and in truth it has compassion on us as Moses declared in his song that bore witness against the people to their faces when he said, 
and he will have compassion on his servants, okay? This is a gruesome death, you know, and they'd rather die this way than to have a piece of swine's flesh, okay? This is, these are the Israelites, not these retards that are on YouTube and stuff like that. After the first brother had died in this way, they brought forward the second for their sport, okay? This is like a game for them. <clears throat> they tore off the skin of his head with the hair and asked him, will you eat rather than have your body punished limb by limb? No, he replied in the language of his ancestors and said to them, no. Therefore, he in turn underwent tortures as the first brother had done. And when he was at his last breath, he said, you accursed wretch, you dismiss us from this present life, but the king of the universe will raise us up to an everlasting renewal of life because we have died for his laws. That also supports reincarnation. These guaranteed, these seven brothers are part of God's elect, okay? And like it says here, we'll raise us up to an everlasting renewal of life, okay? And so they'll be back here on this earth again in the last days. Verse 10, and after him, the third was the victim of their sport. While, when it was demanded, he quickly put out of his tongue and courageously stretched forth his hand and said nobly, I got these from heaven. And because of his laws, I disdain them. And from him, I hope to get them back again. Okay, so he's going to be born again, you know, and then he will get a reward for this type of faith. As a result, the king himself and those who are astonished at this young man's spirit for he regarded his suffering as nothing, okay? <clears throat> We're happy to die, okay? Because this place is hell, okay? So if any of you people love it here, enjoy it, okay? <laughs> and then good luck to you. Verse 13, after he too had died, they maltreated and tortured the fourth the same way. When he was near death, he said, one cannot, put, one cannot but choose to die at the hands of mortals and to cherish the hope God gives of being raised again by him. This is reincarnation. But for you, there will be no resurrection to life, okay? So that's a prophecy, okay? And then that means that those spirits that are doing this to them are going to be back here on this earth, and then they're going to be, they're going to be destroyed, body and soul, and so they will not be resurrected to life, okay? There's a judgment for that. Verse 15, next, they brought forward the fifth and maltreated him. But he looked at the king and said, because you have authority among mortals, though you also are mortal, you do what you please, but do not think that God has forsaken our people. Okay, keep on and see how his mighty power will torture you and your descendants. So God's going to go after that, quote, king and his descendants. So all you people are like, oh, you know, well, the kids, they don't have a choice and all that kind of stuff. You got to read the Bible. Stop coming here and advertising your ignorance, your stupidity to me and all that kind of stuff. This is serious. Okay, these are actual Israelites. These are real people who have um, morals and principles. Okay, and all that. Not you freaking riffraff that come by my channel. Uh, verse 18. After him, they brought forward the sixth, and when he was about to die, he said, Do not deceive yourself in vain, for we are suffering these things on our account because of our sins against our own God. So they even understand why they had to go through this. Therefore, astounding things have happened, but do not think that you will go unpunished for having tried to fight against God. Okay? And so this is an amazing thing. How humble they are. Verse 20, the mother was especially admirable and worthy of honorable memory. Um, look at the, the kids that she's raised, okay? Although she saw her seven sons perish within a single day, she bore it with good courage because of her hope in the Lord. Okay, where's this kind of faith on earth? She encouraged each of them in the language of their ancestors. Filled with a noble spirit, she reinforced her, her woman's reasoning with a man's courage and said to them, I do not know how you came into being in my womb. It was not I who gave you life and breath, nor I who set in order the elements within each of you. Okay. Therefore, the creator of the world who shaped the beginning of humankind and devised the origin of all things will in his mercy give life and breath back to you again, since you now forgot yourselves for the sake of his laws. That's reincarnation. Okay, and then they're going to be raised up in the last day. Um, they're going to be saved. Okay, verse 24. Antiochus fell that he, felt that he was being treated with contempt and he was suspicious of her reproachful tone. Even though she's just speaking common sense, you know, in truth, the truth of the Bible. And so that's hate speech, you know, for that leadership then and now. The youngest brother being still alive, Antiochus not only appealed to him in words, but promised with oaths that he would make him rich and enviable if he would turn from the ways of his ancestors and that he would take him for his friend and entrust him with public affairs, make him a busybody, okay? Make him a Democrat or Republican. Um, since the young man would not listen to him at all, okay? The king called the mother to him and urged her to advise the youth to save himself. Um... After much urging on his part, she undertook to persuade her son. But leaning close to him, she spoke in their native language as follows. 
deriding the cruel tyrant. My son, have pity on me. I carry you nine months in my womb and nursed you for three years and have reared you and brought you up to this point in your life and have taken care of you. I beg you, my child, to look at the heaven and, and the earth and see everything that is, in, that is in them and recognize that God did not make them out of the things that existed. Okay, God made it. Okay, so she's reaffirming him to have faith. And in the same way, the human race came into being. Do not fear this butcher, but prove worthy of your brothers. Accept death so that in God's mercy, I may get you back along with your brothers. Okay, amazing. Verse 30. <clears throat> While she was still speaking, the young man said, "Where? What are you waiting for? I will not obey the king's command, but I obey the command of the law that was given to our ancestors through Moses. Okay, But you who have contrived all sorts of evil against the Hebrews will certainly not escape the hands of God, for we are suffering because of our own sins. And if our living Lord is angry for a little while to rebuke and discipline us, he will again be reconciled with his own servants. But you, unholy wretch, you most defiled of all mortals, do not be elated in vain and puffed up by uncertain hopes when you raise your hand against the children of heaven. Okay. You have not yet escaped the judgment of the almighty, all-seeing God. For our brothers, after enduring a brief suffering, have drunk of ever-flowing life under God's covenant. Okay. But you, by the judgment of God, will receive just punishment by your arrogance. That's in verse 36. 666. In the last days, he's going to be born again, brought back here. And then his body and soul will be destroyed prior to the plagues, uh, after the plagues, um, and that kind of thing. Verse 37, I, like my brothers, give out my body and life for the laws of our ancestors. Okay. Appealing to God to show mercy to our nation and by trials and plagues to make you confess that he alone is God. So they're going to experience the plagues. Okay. And that's prophetic in the last days. <clears throat> and, uh, and through me and my brothers to bring to an end the wrath of the Almighty that he has justly fallen on our whole nation. That has a sequence of the end times in those few verses. Okay talks about plagues and then it talks about the wrath of the almighty okay even in you know maccabee so um you know they're prophesying here in the, with their last breaths that's what the israelites do okay they're prophets okay they're the chosen verse 39 the king fell into a rage and handled him worse than the others okay being exasperated at his scorn so he died in his integrity putting his whole trust in the lord okay um last of all the mother died after her sons let this be enough then about the eating of sacrifices and the extreme tortures okay so i want people to understand um nothing that i say on my channel is extreme relative to that this is extreme to the world right now but i want people to understand these seven men and this woman would be very likely on this earth right now and then they would be part of the group who are going to be saved to everlasting life because this is the way that elect operate okay so all you um, uh, retards out here coming around here talking about, yeah, I'll put up with this for another 10, 15, 20 years. You people are disgusting people, okay? Look at this group of people. They will not even put a piece of bacon in their mouth and they'll die limb by limb, okay? So you people need to get your head right. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.